This is the floppy drive that we took apart. On the back of the drive was the main connections for power, the ribbon cable, and there was also a motor. This motor was interesting because it spun an auger-like bar. It wasn't until we opened up the drive that we knew what this motor was used for. We put a floppy into the drive and saw how it read and spun the floppy disk. As the auger-like bar of the motors turned, it would move a piece of plastic connected to the read-write head and that would move it back and forth. On the bottom of the drive was an electromagnet that would spin the floppy disk. The copper coils were connected to the main circuit board and as electricity flowed through them, it would spin the drive head because it had magnets inside of it. Overall, the floppy drive broke down into about 37 parts. I was really amused by the copper coils, so as we neared the end of the teardown, I spent a lot of time playing with them.